What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you how to completely customize your device and do a lot of things you aren't normally allowed to do without a jailbreak. So I'm gonna be showing you how to change the shape of your icons on the home screen, like you can see I have circles right here, how to block app revokes, how to block OTA updates for firmware, for new firmwares if you're not trying to update, how to get a custom boot logo with just one tap of a button and more. Now this is gonna work on any 64-bit iPhone or iPad and works on iOS 11 through 11.1.2 or iOS 10 through 10.3.2 and there's no computer necessary. Now to do all this, we're going to need two applications and that's Torngat and Houdini. Now I talked about Torngat a few times on the channel, but I never actually made a full video on it. So that's what I wanted to do today in this video, in addition to talking about Houdini and showing you some of the things you can do with Houdini as well. And of course, this video is also going to serve as a simpler way to change your boot logo compared to my tutorial from a few weeks ago that involved changing system files inside of Fauza. And as always, I just need to say it every time I do a video like this, I'm not going to be responsible for anything that happens to your device, but I haven't seen many people having issues at all with any of these applications so you should be just fine but I just want to put that disclaimer out there right now as you guys know a full jailbreak should be out soon enough and you won't even need these applications when that full jailbreak does get released all right so anyways let's go ahead and get into this so I'm gonna be using my iPhone 7 running iOS 11.0 for this tutorial but I've also done this same thing on my iPhone 10 running iOS 11.1.2 without any issues all right so for this video we're gonna be using tweakbox I just went ahead and deleted it right there just to show you guys how to get it on your device so you're just gonna to go to Safari and you're gonna to go to tweakboxapp.com you can just click the link down in the description below but make sure you do open it up in Safari and not the YouTube browser once you get here click on download app right there in the middle click on allow install put in your passcode if you have one install go back to the home screen and you will find tweak box right there and if you get an ad just go and click on the X up in the top left corner right here and from here we're gonna go to apps tweak box apps and we're gonna scroll down until we find Houdini b2 so go ahead and click on Houdini b2 go ahead and click on install and install again and it will install on your home screen you can see I already have it right there once it gets installed you're not gonna be able to open it right away so you will have to go to settings general scroll down until you see profiles and device management and then go ahead and trust that you can see right there you will have to trust it right there once you've installed Houdini go back to tweak box and then apps and then tweak box apps right here then go ahead and scroll all the way down until you find torn gat right there it's version 4.0 it may be a different version once you are watching this but go ahead and click install install again just do the same thing then you should have both icons on your home screen so you can see we have torn gat and then Houdini right there all right, so let's go ahead and check out torn gat first and once you get to the screen right here just go ahead and click on run continue then you should see all these options right there and the very first option is the one you should not do whatsoever so change resolution I've had so many people have issues with this going back all the way to iOS 9 iOS 8 days every time you change resolution it always gives you issues so I would stay away from that option but all the other ones you should be fine changing we have block revoke so this is going to attempt to stop enterprise certificates from being revoked this is definitely a good one that you will want to uh, enable here so you can see mine says unblock meaning that I already have them blocked block updates so this is going to block the OTA updates similar to what ATV VOS profile will do but you can also have that installed as well we have control center so you can customize the control center as well you can see mine looks pretty funky right now <laughs> I was just customizing it a little bit but that's something that I'm not too big of a fan of we have icon mask which is my favorite right here you can see you could change them into circular you could change them into hexagon and also leaf or you could also do custom icons right there as well you could also revert back to the original then you have boot logo which is very interesting because for this one all you have to do is simply put in the URL of the image it should be a dot PNG image a transparent image I will have a link down down below for some transparent uh, images that you could use for the boot logo right here all you do is simply put in the .png URL right there and then click change and you will have a changed custom boot logo so this is infinitely more easy than my tutorial I showed you guys on changing files and files and things like that so if you watch that video this is definitely a much easier way if you wanted to revert back to original or if you wanted to just change it a lot simpler then you have badge color which is really cool if you go back to my home screen you can see that my badges are like this dark blue color it looks really cool and if you go back into here you can see that we do have to put in the hex code right there for the color a little hack is that you could just kind of type in you know random numbers and you will get different colors but you could also go to Google and just search for hex codes and see which one you should put in there and then to get rid of the keyboard just click dismiss keyboard and then change or you can go back to default right there so that's really cool you could do a lot with torn guide really really cool application so let's go and check out Houdini now because you can use these side by side so if you get a message saying that you're using a, a modified version of Houdini just click ignore on that it's not a big deal it's just from Tweakbox. but if you did want the official and you wanted to install it through Cydia Impactor using a computer I will have that link down in the description Description as well so you can see that the first screen we get to it shows our device and our version number right there shows how much space we have left clean system which is very much like iCleaner I definitely recommend you do that if you don't have a lot of space then down here we have sources so you can add custom sources we have mod my eye as the only source right there but let's go ahead to packages so this is pretty similar to torn gat as well but they do have some differences so we have screen resolution again I would stay away from that we have icon label hide and renamer so this is my favorite thing about uh, Houdini right here and that's the only reason I use Houdini alongside torn gat so you can hide 
labels or you can make custom labels right there. So I like hiding my labels. I think it gives a really clean look to the home screen, especially when they're circular, which again is what I did with the Torn Get application. Then you have icon badges, so you can resize the icon badges and change colors as well in here, which is pretty nice. You can also change the shape of the icons in here. You can also do an ads blocker, which is pretty cool. So you can do block ads right there and it will uh, block ads throughout iOS. So you could do this and apply and reboot, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna do dismiss. Then you can change the emoji font right here. So if you wanna like Android like, uh, Android O, Android O, uh, Emoji One, if you wanted these different fonts for emojis, you could do that as well. I'm a big fan of the Apple emoji, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. You have better boot logos right here as well. And you can see you could change between some of these boot logos that they already have pre-installed, which is really, really nice. It saves you the hassle of going through Google and you know putting in the URL like you had to do in TornGat. So it's really cool and a lot easier here inside of Houdini. Then if you are using an iPhone 10, you can add your face to an emoji, which is really cool. So you can pretty much do a ton with these two applications. Like I said, they pretty much do similar things, but they do have their differences. And it's definitely cool to be able to have both of them installed on your device. Technically not a jailbreak, but it does utilize an exploit. So it kind of is a jailbreak, uh, but you don't need a computer for any of this, which is really nice as well. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That's how you can completely customize the springboard of your device, block ads, block OTA updates, all that good stuff using these two applications. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more similar videos to this one. Also leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever. But thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.